What is up guys, I am the one and only Eagle Double T, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox One S. So without further ado, let's begin. Round 1, Controller. These controllers are very different from each other, but they both have their strong points and advantages. The Xbox One S controller is a very solid, standard video game controller. It feels well built has great joysticks, solid buttons, and a pretty decent D-pad. It also has great bumpers and great triggers. And one thing to mention is that it does have a headphone jack, which is something the Joy-Cons and the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller do not have. But with the Joy-Cons, you can do so much more. They have built-in gyroscopes and motion controls, which are great for games like 1-2-Switch. They feel very, very solid. The triggers, the buttons, the joysticks all feel very, very nice. And you can even turn them sideways, and each person can use one for multiplayer games, like a mini NES controller. If you don't like using them separately, you can put them on a Joy-Con grip and use them as one controller. However, this is not the most comfortable method. If you don't like that, and you have some extra cash to spend, you could pick up the $70 Pro Controller, which is $10 more than a standard Xbox One S controller. However, you are getting some extra features. It has motion controls, HD rumble, and overall, it, it's a more solid feeling controller. It has a far superior D-pad, excellent joysticks, they're very grippy and feel very nice. These very deluxe premium wide buttons, which are probably my favorite part of the controller, also has very solid and oddly satisfying joysticks and triggers, and it also has a 40 hour battery life, which is far superior to the battery life on the Xbox One S controller. The Xbox One controller is a great standard video game controller, However, with the Switch, you have so many more options with a lot more features. So the Switch wins round one. Round two, build quality. Now, I think the obvious winner here is the Nintendo Switch. Um, the Xbox One is kind of notorious for not being made very well. This is actually the second Xbox One that I've had. The other one, um, my friend took out the HDMI cord from the port, and a chunk of the port came out. So I had to get a whole new Xbox One. Um, now granted, the Switch did have its fair share of problems when it first came out. Because, you know, those were early launch consoles. But they've kind of refined it since then. And I don't think anyone really has any issues with it anymore. Um, I have also um, had Xbox One controllers randomly stop working on me for no reason. I didn't throw them or anything like that. They just stopped working. And with the Switch, I have yet to encounter that problem. So in terms of build quality, I would say this round definitely goes to the Switch. Despite being much smaller and much more fragile looking than the Xbox One, the Nintendo Switch is far superior in terms of build quality, so it wins round two. Round three, technical specifications. Now in today's gaming world, graphics are pretty important. And the Switch isn't bad in that department, but it's not the best either. The RAM on the Xbox One S is 8GB, compared to the 4GB of RAM on the Switch. The Xbox has a CPU speed of 1.75GHz, compared to the 1020MHz on the Switch. The GPU speed on the Xbox One S is 914MHz, and 768MHz on the Switch while docked, and 307 megahertz while undocked in handheld mode. The Xbox One S can also run games at 4K, while the Switch can run games at 1080p while docked and 720p while in handheld mode. While the Switch is capable of running some very beautiful games, the Xbox One S has far superior technical specifications. Round 4. Special Features now, I think it's pretty safe to say the Nintendo Switch definitely wins this round, but there are a couple things that we really should appreciate about the Xbox One S. 
It is backwards compatible with a select amount of Xbox 360 games, such as Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And it also can play Blu-ray and DVD movies. So you can pretty much use this as your whole entertainment system. However, the Nintendo Switch completely blows it out of the water. You can put it into its dock and use it as a fully functional um, home console. You can take it off the dock and on the go. And you can use it as a handheld. There are lots of different ways. You can use the controllers. You can use this um, the Pro Controller. You could take them off and have one in each hand. You could put them on the Joy-Con grip if that's more comfortable. Um, lots of different stuff you can do with the Switch. And it definitely takes this round. Like I said, the Xbox One S does have some great features that we should appreciate. However, the Switch just has so many more. So it takes round four. Round 5. Games. A console is defined by the games that it has. If a console has no games, then what's the point of it? And both of these consoles have excellent game libraries. The Xbox One has Shadow of War, the Call of Duty series, which is my personal favorite series on Xbox, Battlefield, Halo, Gears of War, Destiny, Resident Evil, Assassin's Creed, GTA 5, Forza, Overwatch, the list goes on and on. The Nintendo Switch has Splatoon 2, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario Odyssey, ARMS, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, 1 2 Switch, Sonic Forces, as well as many other great upcoming games such as the new Mario Tennis game and Metroid Prime 4. Um, I think I'm going to give this round to the Xbox One S, because the Xbox One has been out a much longer time, and has had more time to build up its game library to where it is now. However, in a couple of years, I do think the Nintendo Switch will have a better game library, but that will take time, and the Xbox One has had more time to build up its game library than the Nintendo Switch. So... Round 5 goes to the Xbox One S. Round 5 goes to the Xbox One S. And with a score of 2 to 3, the Nintendo Switch is the superior console to the Xbox One S. Both of these consoles are absolutely fantastic consoles, but like I said, I do think the Nintendo Switch is better. However, the Xbox One S does have its advantages. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you have not, and comment which console you like better. I am the one and only Eagle Double T signing off. Goodbye.